I would hear today. She had said once that do not underestimate uh, that a small group of committed citizens can change the world. In fact, it is the only thing that ever has. Um, many of you deserve to be commended just for showing up to rallies like this, as you've already seen the great lengths that corporations and government will go to to silence its citizens, including using children as a pawn to do so. Uh, I want to say that anything that you do in your daily lives to promote this issue and to more promote the oversight of the Children's Aid Society, do not underestimate the effect that that has. If you make this issue a part of your daily life, you may not see the results immediately. You may not see the results in a week or in a month or even in a year. But I tell you, you are laying the groundwork for change and you are all to be commended for doing so. Uh, as somebody myself who has faced um, great adversity with the law and the government, uh, when I stand up for the rights of those who cannot stand up for themselves and our children are the primary people that we need to look out for. Uh, they have no voice in this system and we are the only voice that they have. I've not had the experience that many of you had in having your children removed by an out of control system. But I have had my own involvement with the Children's Aid Society over a very minor incident. And I can tell you that the subsequent investigation was far more traumatizing than the original event itself. We've learned historically that government and corporations do not put their mistakes. And that is why you stand here today with your sign and with your petition in front of the halls of our government to send them the message that you will not tolerate anymore this intrusion into the family. We as parents are the greatest protectors of our children. As long as the resources of these organizations are being used so liberally and are being used in situations where they ought not be, then we will continue to see the children who are in true peril and in true need of these services fall by the wayside and become just another statistic. It is a very worthwhile organization if they stay committed to the task at hand and in helping those that truly need assistance. So this goes out not only to the children that have been adversely affected by the system, but by those that, that have been left behind. So I would challenge each of you, again, make this part of your daily discussion. You should feel no shame. It is these people and the people represented by the Children's Aid Society that should carry the full burden of that shame. You as parents defending your family are doing exactly what is just and right and exactly what you are democratically obliged to do. So for that I commend you and I thank you and I wish you all of the best of luck in your endeavors.